welcome back to another collection snapshot at the Wyoming Veterans Memorial Museum. I'm John Woodward, Director of Museums for the Wyoming Military Department. In these segments, we look at interesting historical items from our collections. With all the discussion of personal protective equipment lately, I wanted to share something very special. This is a German GM 1917 gas mask dating from the First World War. During the Great War, both sides used various types of chemical weapons, including chlorine gas and mustard gas. Germany began using chemical weapons at the Battle of Ypres in Belgium on April 22, 1915. Soon both the Allied and Central Powers started using chemical weapons. They also began issuing protective equipment. The full name for this gas mask is the Lederschultz mask GM1917. Leather Schultz mask translates to leather protective mask. Most of the mask is made of oiled sheep leather. At the front is a metal filter cartridge. When worn, soldiers look through transparent celluloid eyepieces. Both the German and Austro-Hungarian armies use the GM 1917 gas mask. The mask we have here today is from the Shelby Van Berg collection. Sergeant Van Berg served in the Colorado National Guard, called up for World War I. Van Berg's engineering company was part of the 115th Engineers. Uh, he served as the company's supply sergeant. After the end of the war, uh, Van Berg served in the Army of Occupation until 1919 when he returned to Colorado. Afterwards, he moved to Casper, Wyoming, working for Continental Oil. The mask is a souvenir he collected and brought back. Uh, that wraps up our collection snapshot for today. If you like these videos, please be sure to like and share them. If you're watching on our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. For more news about the Wyoming Veterans Memorial Museum, please visit our Facebook page. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.